This episode of the podcast is sponsored by Audible. Details are in the link in the description. Welcome to the Catholic with a Bible podcast. My name is Ted, a Catholic who reads his Bible. On today's episode, there are some adult themes here. So if you listen to this podcast with children around, you might not want to on this particular episode. I'm going to get into the story of Maria Goretti. Maria Goretti was a little girl born in 1890 in Italy. But by age five, they had to move to a new town and work someone else's farm. And they lived in this building with another family, the Serenellis. She, as a little girl, took her faith really seriously. She was seen walking around praying constantly. And she put up with the angry son in the Serenelli family, Alessandro. Like his father before him, he drank too much. But there's not a ton of details on why exactly. But he was just really angry. Alessandro, he was, by the time Maria had turned 11, he was 19. But he was just an angry kid. I mean, he was 19, he was a man. But he was just, he was angry. He hated God. He hated the life he was living and didn't recognize any help that was given his way. And one day, when, of all things, Maria Goretti was sitting there mending one of the shirts of Alessandro, he approached her with an awl, A-W-L, an awl, which is it's not a knife, but it is a very, very pointed tool that could cause a lot of damage. And he propositioned her sexually. And this isn't the first time he's done this. He had done this in the past, but she had turned him down basically just said, no, God doesn't want this and kind of put him in his place. But this time he didn't react to it the same way. At this point, he attacked her. He kept telling, like she kept saying, no, God doesn't want this. I mean, she didn't want this, but later, whenever this was being reported, Alessandro only ever said, she said, God doesn't want this. It is a sin. God does not want this which Alessandro took very poorly. And he stabbed her 11 times with that tool. Then afterwards, he stepped out of the room for a moment. She tried to leave. He heard her jiggling on the door handle, came back and stabbed her in the back three times. And then he just left. Now, Alessandro's father found her. And immediately they took her to a hospital where the doctors were just amazed that she hadn't passed. He had no reason to believe that this woman, this this little girl, should be alive after what just happened to her. And she said, who did it? She said it was Alessandro, in which they, they promptly found him and charged him for 30 years imprisonment. But when she was in the hospital, one of the things that they asked her was, what she thought about Alessandro. And she said, Jesus Christ forgives him. Why couldn't I? And she died forgiving this man having killed her. At no point did this little girl hate him. She said, I want to see him in heaven with me. Alessandro, he served those 30 years and he stayed an angry man for a while. But after being in prison for six years, that's when he had a dream that Maria Goretti came to him and she gifted him 14 flowers, one for each time that he stabbed her. She forgave him 14 times for those 14 injuries. After that, his life changed. I mean, he served another 24 years but he wasn't that hateful person any longer. And after he got out, he saw Maria Gretti's mother. And he told her that he was so sorry. 
and she told him, my daughter already forgave you. I forgive you as well. But after this, they went to Mass together, and they celebrated Mass side by side. Of all things we can think about whenever we think that we're supposed to love our enemies, one of the things that we never really want to do is truly forgive all of those enemies. We hear, forgive your enemies, and we hear something along the lines of, forgive those people who kind of screwed you over. Forgive the homeless guy who you gave $20 to and then you saw him go spend it on something else. Forgive your enemies being that friend of yours who is just not being very kind to you, but you're not going to hold any grudges. Love your enemies means this story. Love your enemies means you forgive those people who have truly wronged you. And that includes rapists and pedophiles. Not to excuse anything they've done. No. No matter what mental blocks we might have about it. They are children of God. I mean, we live in a world where Christians advocate for the death penalty for pedophiles. I mean, we have to be honest here. That's not out of love. Christians. We've been told to love our enemies. I can't imagine a greater enemy than someone who has taken advantage of the weakest among us. But guess what? That's an enemy. We are called to love them. And and you might not like what you're hearing. And I am not going to lie. I have a mental block right now where I'm not even liking that I'm saying it. But I know that's wrong because we are called to to love our enemies. Because at the end of the day, remember, on one hand, that's good for your soul to not harbor any ill will towards someone. If someone killed your parents and you forgive them, that is something that you have let go. But also, you have evangelized by loving them. You have shared the love of God, a love that is not deserved, but a love that is merited by the fact that they are human beings. And let's be honest, those who abuse most likely have been abused themselves. And forgiveness is the greatest way that we can make this world a better place and help make it so we don't have these horrible things taking place any longer. But what I I wanted to do in closing is the prayer to St. Maria Goretti, the patroness of abused children. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dear God, we ask you to help all those who suffer from abuse. Help them find healing and peace in their life. May Maria Goretti, who is strengthened by your grace, join with us in prayer for healing of all victims of abuse, particularly those abused as children or young adults. Grant us your love that we might reach out to them in your name with hope in times of trial. As Maria prayed for her attacker, grant us the grace to pray for the true conversion of all involved with the abuse, that they might seek your mercy through prayer and penance. Loving God, pour into our hearts and lives your healing spirit, that the sacredness of every human person might be respected and protected as the precious image of God. Help us to live in the peace in which Maria Goretti had found in Christ and in the love of his mother, Mary. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 6, verses 27 through 36. But I say to you that hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. To him who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other one also. And from him who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your coat as well. Give to everyone who begs from you, and of him who takes away your goods, do not ask them again. And as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? 
Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful.